Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Don here. So today I thought um, I would come on and do these, um, use these again on the last two boards. So in my last video, which I don't actually have it to hand, um, but I did two of these boards using some leftover um, wooden boards that my daughter gave me from a kit. Um, and we did them with white gesso and then coloured them in. So I think this time I'm going to do it with black gesso because I think that'll look really nice. And we'll do steampunk as most of you know I love steampunk so but I'm thinking that instead of doing my usual bronzes and greens and purples that I usually do maybe um, I might add in um, a few other different colors so we'll have a play but I'm going to put where I build this up um, I'm going to put that on speed up but then we'll come back because I don't know if you can hear in the background my husband is jet washing um, so I don't think you want to sit and hear that all the way through this video so um, I'm going to do that bit on speed up and then I'm going to come back um, and we'll do all the colouring in together and we'll talk through it and we'll just have a little a little chit chat and yeah have some fun so um, I hope you enjoy the next bit and I'll see you after um, I've put all this down <music>
so I'm back so here are my two canvases they're all dry um, so they are ready to work on um, so I wasn't sure what colours to go for because normally I do like my purple my green and my bronze and golds and stuff and silvers to do that sort of steampunk style um, but um, I've just been on the phone to my eldest daughter and so I, I've, I asked her and she said blue so all I've done is I've just got it in my stash um, and all of the different blues that I've got from um, craft box I've just pulled them out so this one is actually a vintage paint in aqua but I like the light color and this is glitter but it's a, it's a glitter paste and sky blue but I thought um, I'll use it anyway as a paint these are two alumia paints so they're quite thin but they've got that metallic uh, the metallic look to them and uh, this is an art alchemy um, wax from Finnebear um, and this is in this gorgeous blue so it's blue lagoon so that'll be really really nice um, I've got this one in turquoise so really nice colour um, we've got ultra marine um, yeah ultra marine marine oh I can't say it. anyway it's it's like a royal blue it's easy just to say that um I am um, this is actually an ink um, but it's a teal not sure if I oh, and I've just managed to spill it um not sure if I'm going to use it yet but I thought you know what I really really like um that color um so we might so there it is absolutely beautiful color actually you know what we could um make a flower out of that it would look awesome um so yes yeah, so we've got that i've got my white gesso and then the last thing is this which is a stencil paste in a light blue um so i thought we could use them all i've already taken the tops off just to save a little bit of time the other thing that i have um again i'm not sure if i'm going to use everything in this um sort of set um i just i literally just pulled out all of these different paints that um i have and it's i'm not using them i tend to keep using my cheaper paints from uh, the works so um and my products are just not getting used they're going to end up drying up and it's just a shame um but this is an, an and this is a new for shimmer powder in storm cloud so i thought that might be nice to add as well so let's get started i've got a couple of paintbrushes just off to the side because i do tend to change um, my paintbrushes quite a bit um and let's get some actually this is the last i'm going to keep that because i'm going to do a project with that um i want to do some things where i collect a few bits and pieces from around the house um, and we make art out of it because i think that would be quite fun okay so um these are pastes um and this one feels like it might have dried out um so where is my palette knife actually um so unfortunately i only have these oh no it seems to be fine what i'm going to do is let's add some um, of this texture on because yeah why not let's just go for it so instead of doing it with paint brushes um, so just add in the texture in that gorgeous blue color um, we are going to uh, probably paint over quite a bit of this but um, yeah I just think let's use all of this stuff we have it so why not use it um, i don't even think i think i've used this paste probably once um, and i don't even know how long i've had it for um so it is nice to sort of get it out and um play with it so just spreading it here there and everywhere i haven't really got um sort of an idea where it's going but yeah um so there we go that is really bright on the camera it looks absolutely fab right i'm not going to use any more of that definitely not now i don't mind if this mixes in with these colors but i'm going to start off with our lighter so i'm going to start off with this aqua paint um first um i could do with like um a palette or something just something to sort of um go on what do i have um do you know what? i do this every time it's the one thing i keep forgetting um that i may need is um some sort of a palette so oh, i know what i have that will work wonders so i'm going to use um this just a piece of acetate 
saw because I don't want that much um, on I'm just going to go over everything so I'm loving the black I love working with black gessos it's one of my favorite um, favorite sort of colors to work with um, but I always always go with steampunk so I think doing sort of something completely different um, is definitely something that I am really going to enjoy hopefully and hopefully it will turn out um, even if it doesn't I will um, yeah I will come in I will still leave it in because um, all it would mean is that we just paint over the top but so far so good so I'm just bringing in this colour all the way around um, and I like to do it in layers so I sort of um, I don't put too, try not to put too much on on my first layer um, and I build upon my colours and then it gets it gives me an idea of what the what colours I want to do from there oh, loving 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 this love this aqua blue it is one of my um the vintage paint in aqua it's one of my favorites oh, gorgeous right okay let's then come in with this one so this one is our turquoise so i'm just going to give it a bit of a mix and then let's pop that on here so i've got quite a bit on there but um, as long as we do it lightly we should be fine oh, loving it so I think my daughter was right to go with blue. Um, I know that I've just done um, some orange and brown ones um, that I actually do have to hand. Um, and I use my Romy Small Arts papers. And you know what? She's got, as I was going through them, she's got these gorgeous blue flowers that I'm thinking would look really, really amazing on here. So I think that's what I'm going to... Um, use for my focal point um, uh, and then keep it sort of the same for both right okay oh, how amazing is this I love that blue that blue is gorgeous just want a little bit more here yeah loving how that is looking right okay so there's that color right now let's come in with this one um, this one is ultramarine I'm hoping that's how you say it so again just getting a small amount putting it on not changing paint brushes um, yeah because we're dry brushing so we're going to be taking most of that um, paint off anyway so I don't see the point in changing our, our paint brush but yeah definitely not colours I would tend to go for but I am loving so so different to my usual style of um, mixed media um, but it's, it's great isn't it to be to sort of come out of your comfort zone I think and just do something because like I say it's not the end of the world if we don't like it because if we don't like it we can just go over it again with some black gesso all it will be will create more texture which I mean personally I love my texture so um, it wouldn't be too bad um, now I'm as you've noticed on these ones I haven't created a light patch but I think I'm going to now that I've got all the colours on and I can see how the colours are sort of working um, I think I will do right now the last bit is a couple of colours is these Lumia paints and these are just stunning they're very very um, thin so um, yeah but they're absolutely gorgeous so I just want to add a hint on not going to add too much um, and I think the glitter paste I'm going to add last so we've got that now what I'm going to do is I want to create I think around this area I want it to be light and I want it to be dark here so I'm going to move this one to one side um, and so let's do that so let's come back in with um, our gorgeous um, vintage one um, and let's bring in that lighter colour up at this in this uh, top corner. So just bringing out all of that gorgeous, gorgeous uh, texture. And with this having the black, um, 
it gives us a different sort of colour to our paints which is really nice compared to what it would be like if we had it on white but I just feel like this corner would be absolutely gorgeous white well nice and bright but I still want to keep some of those elements of the black in so as you can see really really um, building it up so this is why I sort of like to do when I'm working with my black gesso it's why I like to sort of do um, really thin coats because it gives me um, an idea of where I want the colours um, so because black gesso can be quite daunting and quite scary to start with um, and to sort of know what to do so normally when I do steampunk I sort of leave it like this effect but we're doing something completely different we're going out of our comfort zone so I'm treating this as if it was white gesso and so far I am loving how it's looking so really building up that colour um absolutely gorgeous so really really getting in there but like I said I do want to keep some of that black in there so um not going in too um too much on some of the areas so okay it's just like that now i'm just going to bring in some of that color all the way around these i'm um, just ready for that blend so the next color that i'm going to bring in is this one which is our turquoise um so again let's get that i'm not changing my brush um really nice and bright Oh, it's looking good I'm really liking how this is looking so we're wanting this to be like our so we're wanting it all to sort of blend together it's not colors I would normally sort of put together Um, I would look for sort of the sort of the same shades of blue but because it's all I had in my drawer and because I want to use products that have been sat there um, and I don't want them to sort of be wasted that is why um, I'm sort of we've got the mixture that we have so it really is about you know use what you have you don't have to use exactly what I have I'm just bringing some of this up while there's very little on my brush I just want to bring that up into this sort of clear section well the lighter section oh this is looking fab absolutely fab right the last color is this one which is our dark blue so the ultramarine so we're just going to really get that in and really darken that off so just like this oh, it's really going nicely there's actually would you believe it there's a bit of black that is still um which is still wet on this bit but i don't mind because that is helping uh, to keep this area nice and dark but yeah loving it absolutely loving it and then let's we need to work out what we're going to do with the next one <clears throat> with our other canvas and where it's going to sort of go but oh, i love that so much i love that blend of colors so yeah and it, just keep building up that layer don't be scared just go for it um, you know just add small layers at a time we don't want to add just go in like with our colors and really go for it first time you, you do want to sort of build it up and um, get that nice sort of contrast um, yeah so oh, look at that that is absolutely gorgeous loving it right so there look at the difference so we've sort of started it off by seeing our colors and how they're looking and yeah i'm just loving it um so i'm thinking that i'm thinking actually the same sort of style so let me move that out of the way to dry um i like the idea of um actually do you know what i think i'm going to have it so that the light bit is running down the middle so let's do what we did very similar to those um to the orange and brown ones and red ones so i'm gonna have this going down the middle because like the lighter color i think um that yeah yeah i think that's what we're gonna do um 
so we're sort of like having the sort the same sort of style um, I'll have to wash that lid because it has got there's some areas of the black that is just not dried it has been left quite a few hours but um, I think where you go under that's where it's been left um, wet so yeah and then right at the end, I think we will do definitely do some dry brushing using our white gesso, um, definitely. So let's loving that. Oh, how nice is that? I love that. Do you know what? I'm very tempted to do it quite light all the way along, but just in there. Right. So let's come in with our turquoise and then we're just going to build up just around these sort of side bits. And a soft brush helps with this. This is just a really cheap brush that I got off eBay. I've had it um, ever since I started. And because of the way I really sort of scrunch it, it's, it's quite a nice brush for doing um, dry brushing with. Um, so yeah, I find that the cheaper the brush, the better it is at um, dry brushing. But um, I can't even remember. It wasn't expensive either. It seemed like about five or six pounds for a set of 10. It might have even been a lot less than that. Um, but yeah, it is just a really cheap, um, a cheap brush that I'm using. So let's do this other side. Now I haven't added any water to this one because um, I quite like, I don't want it to lose that black underneath. So um, that's why I'm sort of not spraying it with any of the water. Um, and just in case you were wondering, because I know with the last one I did because I wanted that to blend um, with each other. Oh, loving that right I need some more of this paint this paint is actually drying up which is a bit of a shame because it is gorgeous so let's mix that together and give it a nice sort of blend oh, love it okay right keep going uh, yeah I'm really enjoying this do you know I feel like I haven't done mixed media for weeks and weeks and weeks um, so it's really nice to get back to it um, it is definitely one of those things that do make me feel really really good um, definitely right okay uh, let's come in with the darker color so I'll just pop some on my little mat and then we're gonna do the same really bring in that colour it is mixing quite nicely so and again up at this in this top corner I'm actually loving that colour I really really like that so that's the um that's the vintage um paint in aqua um and the ultramarine blue so yeah it's actually created such a nice blend that I really don't want to um, make it any darker I think if I'm going to do it any darker um, I might use my uh, inks instead so I've got a few nice dark blue inks right um, let's have it just a little bit darker so I'm, I am mixing a bit of that in with this um, aqua to sort of keep that colour but just make it just that um, a little bit darker and then yeah oh, how nice is that oh I love them absolutely love them right I would like to use I just need to grab a oh, what you call it a lollipop stick because it really needs a good stir so with the Lumia paints um, you have to give them a really, really good stir and mix up before you use them to get all of that makeup powder all mixed in. So, but I would like to add some of this on. I think it'll be nice. And I think I'm definitely going to add some of that glitter paste on because I think that would be quite cool. 
so that seems to be nicely mixed um, so let me just pop a bit on this mat and take it off there so not to waste so it is quite a thin paint the Lumia so um, and I've just put a big dollop on there that thingy but um, it's quite a nice thin paint so it sort of transparent quite transparent so if you want to make um, look like a, quite a thick coat or it to actually notice the colour then you do actually have to um, do several layers but this is more just for um, oh what's the word um, just for that a sort of hint of um, shimmer really to it that's the only reason why I'm sort of adding it um, because I just think it'll be nice to add that in and I'm making sure that we add right I'm going to bring in this darker one so I need um, the stick I'll just do the same one I'm sure it'll be fine okay because I think I'd like the darker one just around the edges um, just because I just love that makeup powder so it just gives that lovely shimmer but the Lumia paints are lovely um, and they're especially lovely on a black um, surface so yeah oh, love 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 so this one's definitely being covered a lot more than the other one um, so let's actually bring it back the other one because I'm thinking that I might bring in some of this in because um, I'm actually preferring this one now to this one so um, yeah it's, it is just about playing and it's just about keep going until um, there was a bit of black there that was um, yeah um, what do you call it uh, not dry so it's still wet okay so I'm just going to keep on going right I want some of this on this top bit um, just for that shimmer actually I quite like it dropped in those sort of areas I think that looks quite nice so let's drop some in it will dry eventually um, oh, loving it absolutely loving it okay right I'm going to bring some more of the aqua colouring because just to do this bit so I do feel like we need it to be a bit lighter and just more blended in together this arm's getting tight so I'll use my other one for now okay yeah oh, I'm starting to love it love 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 well I loved it anyway but um, oh, I can't believe this paint's running out I could add water to it um, which is what I tend to do if I find that anything's dried out um, I always spray it with water or I add water because I do think that by doing that you um, yeah you can sort of bring it back to life so my answer to everything is just add some water so yeah Oh, look at that isn't that looking fabulous okay right okay last bit is let's bring in this Lumia paint around here oh, um, actually mix it in with that I'm sort of, I want to bring in that um, nicer colour that we have over there so yeah oh, that's so much better isn't it so much better really blending it all in like so there we go um, a little bit more of this I think yeah okay I know I keep going quiet it's because I'm I'm I'm, extra, I'm just enjoying playing along with this um, I want a bit more of this turquoise 
just to go along here because I feel like we've lost it just a little bit um, so I would like to bring that in um, and maybe blend it more yeah so it is really is just about your layers just layering up the paint until you're happy I mean I'm loving that how awesome do they look and I to tell you the truth I don't think um, we need to add any more so let me get rid of that okay so um i'm going to blast these with my oh actually no um i want some of this glitter on so <laughs> because i i just think it's gorgeous so it is a glitter paste um so like a stencil paste but i think if we use our well yeah it does work so i'm just using my paintbrush um, so it's just gel medium and um, glitter if I remember rightly um, but why not add some glitter onto our elements yeah let's jazz it up so just on the cogs themselves so just around there and then I'm going to add some glitter all to this big cog as well and who doesn't love a bit of glitter but like I said this is I'm just doing this because of the fact that we have all of these gorgeous products and they're not getting used which yeah it's just such a shame use your products um I mean I'm the worst I, I sort of hoard um, all of my little bits and bobs because of the fact that I love them and it's just such a shame because of the fact that they end up drying out and yeah which is unfortunate right I think just so we get the rest off that there we go okay so I'm gonna go off camera um I'm gonna also close all these up because we're not going to use these um, I am going to bring in that blue wax once it's dry so that we'll polish it up with that and then um, I think we'll do some dry brushing with our white gesso and then I'm going to look through Marami's papers because I'm sure I saw some gorgeous blue florals um, elements so I really want to sort of add them to it I think they'll look gorgeous and then um, maybe add on some stickers as well and um, we have that teal ink um, but I don't think it'll go although we, I might do splashes with it or something um, I don't know I will have a look um, but I think it's just oh, it's stained all it's stained all my fingers. Um, I just think it might be just a bit too um, green for what I'm wanting, which is a shame because it is lovely. But that won't um, that's not going to run out. So it's all good. Okay, I'll dry up because um, it is a dipping ink. Look at the state of my hands. Right. Okay, I'm going to try this and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back right um i found these um which i just think are absolutely gorgeous and i think i'm definitely going to use that piece there um, and i really like this butterfly as well so um I, I do love them um the other thing is um i've just noticed my scissors have a glue all over them don't know where that's come from um however the other thing that i thought um we could use so let's just pop these out of the way just one second um i do need to white gesso them first um we have this gorgeous gorgeous butterfly which i really really like um but i really like all of these um cog elements um which i think we should definitely use and add to one of the papers so um we'll fussy cut them out and um I think definitely that butterfly now I'm not sure if I want the big one or the little one um, really not sure at all I think the big one might be too much so let's just cut we'll do the little one so let's fussy cut that out as well so being careful not too there we go right um, so yeah that's what I am sort of thinking 
I love the fact, the one thing that I absolutely love about this paper pad is the fact that it has a bit of everything. So we've got our backing papers, we have papers for um, decoupage, um, which are really thin, which is dead, dead nice. And then we also have um, our lots and lots of fussy cut elements, which is absolutely fantastic. So I love that about those papers, I just think they're fab. Um, so I want to cut this one out first um, because I really really like this so I'm going to have a floral one so one of the well I think they're both going to end up being floral but I like the idea of having one just with these um, these floral elements and then I like the idea of having one with all the cog elements um, and a butterfly so that's what I think we're going to go with um, so now it's just fussy cutting them out so please do feel free to um, fast forward this bit um, I completely understand not everybody likes this bit so um, but I've had a lovely afternoon today um, oh her little lady has just come to to visit um, yeah, I've been sat at crafting. Um, I've had my sister-in-law on the phone, um, so I've been speaking with her and my nieces. Um, also, um, took, I've been on the phone to my um, eldest daughter, which is always nice. We were on the phone actually for about an hour and a half, which was really cool. Um, and I even took her for a walk with me while I took a lady for a walk around the park. So. Yeah, I probably looked really, really strange out and about just carrying my phone talking to my daughter because we were actually on um, WhatsApp at the time. So that was, uh, but it was lovely. It's always nice to see. So she is home in a couple of weeks, um, which I cannot wait. I've missed her loads. So, yeah, it's always nice to see your babies. So, okay. Um, just got a few more little bits but I think this actually is going to look quite nice the other thing I was thinking of is if it, if it blends too much then I might go quite um, I might get some really bright pinks um, so like this sort of color and use them instead so they stand out stand out even more but um, I think it's just sort of yeah see what happens but I saw this um, the other day when I was making the orange ones um, I mean there's going to be about a week in between the two videos um, but and I it just I fell in love with them and then when my daughter when I asked my daughter about um, what colour should I go for and she said blue these came to mind straight away so they just had to be used so yeah really chuffed right okay nearly done nearly done so I think I have I've got both of my little puppies in the this room with me so they are laying in their bed which is really really nice and um, but once I've done this I'm actually going to go upstairs and um, do some editing oh look at that I love it I absolutely love it oh I really love it yeah do you know what it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous right let's try this big butterfly so let's see how this one works out oh, I think it's gonna look gorgeous So trying to um, I know I've had a few questions about fussy cutting um, I feel like I'm about to sort of I've, I've, I've sort of said it in quite a few videos now about fussy cutting a few little tips and stuff um, and that's just in case um, you don't see them all so um, when I fussy cut um, my advice would be to when you first start off go slowly take your time um, you know um, 
because the more sort of practice on and the more you do with them the more you will actually um, get better at it and um, the other thing is is don't move your scissors and move the paper um, I mean I do slightly move my scissors but I would say that um, I, I actually move my paper and um, it gives you more control and then also use the back of your scissors so don't use the front because you're not so this bit here you're not going to get a good um, uh, cut by just using the um, the front of the scissors um, and the other thing is is find a pair of scissors you really like so once you found um, those the, like your um, let's see a pair of scissors that you love for fussy cutting it makes the world a difference and it actually makes it um, more enjoyable as well because you just sort of glide through it which I just think is fab I'm thinking that butterfly is actually way too big so um, let's oh, see yeah let's try this one it could be that I don't add any butterflies on actually. So let's. I thought I'm making you sort of see it and watch me um, fussy cut. What I might do is I'll do this one and then I'll go off camera and fussy cut the rest of them because I don't think you want to sort of sit there and watch me um, fussy cut a load of the cogs out. Um, I mean, I absolutely love the cogs, I think they're fab. So yeah. Okay, I'm just nearly done. Right, there we go. Yeah, that is much better. Um, much, much better, isn't it? I, I'm wondering whether or not to add any more. See, if I take that away and just add those two butterflies, actually. Oh, you know what that looks really really nice as well how nice does that look oh I love that as well oh right you know, right we'll leave them for now because once we've done the white gesso in we'll be able to sort of work out um right what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fussy cut this um butterfly because I just think that looks gorgeous and then we have quite a few of these cog elements um that I think will just make this um piece complete so I am thinking that we use these three bits here. I don't want that one. So, um, and maybe, oh, there's four bits there, so maybe that one as well. Um, yeah, so I don't want, I'm thinking that one with the writing on as well. I quite like that one. Okay, right. So yeah, I'm going to use that one as well. Let me cut that in half, otherwise it's going to end up getting ruined. So these can go back in my folder. Um, so let's get rid of them. Um, I'm going to keep them ones out, I think, because of the fact that I don't. I might, I might add maybe one or two on. Um, onto this one but um, I'll go off camera now I'm going to fussy cut these out and then um, all of these out and then once I've done that we'll come back we'll do our dry gesso in um, stick these down and we'll be finished so yeah I'll be two seconds okay so I'm back so I've done that I, I haven't fussy cut them out yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to use them so let's bring these back um, and let's pop all of these over there just one second because um, I think what we'll do now is let's just get our white gesso and let's do a little bit of dry brushing um, so yeah I think that would work so um, we'll start off with this one but I just think um, adding white to something really really makes a massive difference um, but you don't have to, it is a personal preference, um, but I just think it brings out all of that lovely, lovely texture um, that we have. So, yeah, oh, I'm loving it. Do you know, I've been so chuffed about um, the canvases and how they have turned out. I'm absolutely loving them. I mean, how 
gorgeous is that but just sort of for a comparison I mean you can see the difference by adding the white gesso um, but like I said it is entirely up to yourself whether or not um, you want to add the white gesso um, to bring up that texture or not um, it really is um, down to personal preference um, I do like it um, I, I just love how it brings out um, all of our elements yeah the really I just I love I love I love I love okay so really getting in there yeah I don't want to add too much but um, I do want it so that you can see that texture yeah loving it right okay so that's what we have so let me just grab my glue which is just here um oh actually do you know what i want to add some of this on oh i think that's a bit too much um and just uh, just sort of to highlight some areas so not too much i don't even know um if it's going to add much of anything to it but it seems to it's giving it that sort of nice metallic -y look and feel to it so yeah just adding it in here there and everywhere I definitely want it on this cog because I think this cog is gorgeous and it leaves a really nice shine as well um, I think if you buff it up as well it makes it um, even nicer so, oh, love, love, love. Let's add this onto these cogs as well. So just going around them all. And we can still see, just to say, see that glitter that we did um, add on earlier, which is really nice. So I like that. Um, I think just a little bit on this corner. yeah oh, love it absolutely love it I want it on those bits I think as well yeah definitely and then nice really really nice so it's just the finishing little touches that can make all the difference can't it um, which I really really like I think I, I think I'm going overboard now I think I need to stop so let's stop but oh, loving, loving them. Right, let's see what um, how we're going to place these embellishments on. If I can get that shut. There we go. Okay, so let's start with these. So I'm loving this cog, so I want to keep that there. But I'm quite liking that. Um, I'm sort of um, pop them there. Um, maybe that one there. And it's just sort of adding a few little bits here and there and maybe add our butterfly uh, yeah probably there oh that's gorgeous right okay let's get this stuck down because I'm really happy with how um, how that is looking now my glue will dry clear so I know that I will be okay now I'm going to have to have a look for some dimension um, because we are going to need it for this bit so where so we need it to sort of be raised up so I'm thinking actually just um, one of these which is just left over from um, needs another one because that's quite high so let's pop two on and see how that goes much much better yeah right okay so we can deal with that okay so let's oh, pop that down just there so liking that and then let's pop these few bits down but I'm just using a regular glue I'm not using anything special to stick these down so um, it's what is it? It's Anita's tacky PVA glue with extra fine precision nib, but I cut it really large because um, I do squeeze that one into my little one um, that I have. Okay, 
right yeah love absolutely love and then yeah we're going to pop that there so let's pop the wings up and then let's stick the body down oh so just like that um, and then let's get rid of this glue so we don't need all of that sort of sticking out yeah oh how nice is that it's gorgeous right okay now let's decide on this one. Oh, what about we are hiding all those cogs though I don't really want to hide the cogs oh I quite like that with that what about that so very simple or how about these flowers oh, I don't know. what I really like as well the two butterflies so I quite like just the two butterflies themselves and nothing else do we have to add loads of other bits I mean look that just on its own it just looks a fab um, what about if we pop them on a slant um, so there maybe no um, how about like that no I think if I'm going to do it it's going to have to be like this yeah oh, I do can we just get do you know what let's just do it because I know that that I really like it like that um as much as I love that flower I just don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's sort of for this project um so yeah I will use it on a different project so and then let's pop that one there so just like that so let's pop these away and then um, I will grab out some these stickers so we've got and let's pop some stickers on um, let's have a look uh, enjoy today because well definitely I've really enjoyed today so that has to go on so I'm going to pop that one just in there oh move my butterfly there we go put the book so enjoy today um be proud of your art definitely that is a definite must be proud of what you're making right just need to trim that corner off there we go um oh don't want to move that and then last one I think I'm going to go for go for it oh no actually I'm not I'm going to go for why not because why not <laughs> right let me just cut this down I need to be careful because of the fact that my hands are still there oh, love it absolutely love it it really does not need anything else whatsoever i think that is perfect as it is how cute oh i love absolutely love right okay let's choose some wood for this one um and i think let's have a look what could allow your soul to grow because we are doing outside the box so we are growing we are thinking and experimenting and oh, yeah um don't give up definitely do not give up um because i know that many of us could quite easily do that um right i'm gonna have to trim it just along here uh, so that because i'm thinking that just on that edge would look really nice so yeah that's much better that fits perfectly now so don't give up and then one more because we always have to have one more and I'm thinking just across this bit um oh what let's have a look there's a couple like don't be afraid so don't be afraid to try new things 
actually we want this so we can read it all. There we go. Lift your wing up. There we are. Okay. Oh, love. Love, 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 love. Right, so that is it, guys. That is all for today. How awesome have these turned out? Let me just pop this away into my drawer. Um, but how cool do they look? Um, well, it keeps going on a slant because I keep moving them. Um, it will dry soon. <laughs> but there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, sticking with me through this. So it definitely, definitely out of my comfort zone, but I think it uh, turned out absolutely beautiful. Um, and we have done it with the uh, black gesso, but doing exactly the same as if it was white. So we have covered most of the black, but I love the fact that we've still got bits of the black peeking through. Um, yeah oh, it really is um i just cannot believe how gorgeous these are please um also um i'll leave a link actually in the description box below to where you can buy um marami uh, marta's um products from so her paper pad and um, i'll also leave a link to her channel so do go and check her out she's but i think a lot of you already know because she is a fab um but that is it really for today thank you so much for watching um please do hit that subscribe if you're not already a subscriber um hit the bell as well that will notify you as and when i do upload currently it is daily um and i'm thinking of continuing to do daily um as most of you seem to like it so yeah um, but that is it for today thank you so much for watching and until next time happy crafting bye